Welcome back to Poems in a Time of Plague. This afternoon a treat, Adrian Henry. Painter, rock musician, playwright, teacher and best-selling poet. None of the four rock poetry albums his band, Liverpool Scene, produced was in the least bit successful. Something that did not stop them from coming out with three, count them, three best of albums. He was at the centre of the counterculture art scene in Britain in the 60s and 70s, and his art knew no boundaries. Published in 1967, The Mersey Sound was an anthology by himself and two other Liverpudlian bards, Brian Patton and Roger McGough, and sold over half a million copies, and boosted the three of them into being as famous as any poet could dream. Without you. Without you, every morning would feel like going back to work after a holiday. Without you, I couldn't stand the smell of the East Lanks Road. Without you, ghost ferries would cross the Mersey manned by skeleton crews. Without you, I'd probably be happy and have more money and time and nothing to do with it. Without you, I'd have to leave my stillborn poems on other people's doorsteps, wrapped in brown paper. Without you, there'd never be a sauce to put on sausage butties. Without you, plastic flowers in shop windows would just be plastic flowers in shop windows. Without you, I'd spend my summers picking morosely over the remains of train crashes. Without you, white birds would wrench themselves free of my paintings and fly off dripping blood into the night. Without you, green apples wouldn't taste greener. Without you, mothers wouldn't let their children play out after tea. Without you, every musician in the world would forget how to play the blues. Without you, public houses would be public again. Without you, the Sunday Times colour supplement would come out in black and white. Without you, indifferent colonels would shrug their shoulders and press the button. Without you, they'd stop changing the flowers in Piccadilly Gardens. Without you, Clark Kent would forget how to become Superman. Without you, sunshine breakfast would only consist of cornflakes. Without you, there'd be no colour in magic colouring books. Without you, Marla's Eighth would only be, be performed by street musicians in derelict houses. Without you, they'd forget to put the salt in every packet of chips. Without you, it would be a, an offence punishable by a fine of up to £200 or two months imprisonment to be found in possession of curry powder. Without you, riot police are massing in quiet side streets. Without you, all streets would be one way, the other way. Without you, there'd be no one to kiss goodnight when we quarrel. Without you, the first Martian to land would turn around and go away again. Without you, they'd forget to change the weather. Without you, blind men would sell unlucky heather. Without you, there would be no landscapes, no stations, no houses, no chip shops, no quiet villages, no seagulls on beaches, no hopscotch on pavements, no night, no morning, there'd be no city, no country, without you. Hopefully we'll see you later. Good night.